I want to share a particular story that one of my mentors shared with me and he said, Nick, you need to... On this video, I am going to be explaining and discussing again why I chose to invest $3,000 into myself. Hey, what's up guys? Nick Arapkalis here. Welcome to today's video. A little bit different setup. Thought I'd uh, mix it up a little bit here. I got my little whiteboard behind me where I put all my goals and all my accountability stuff, all the things that I'm doing, my affirmations, the things I just want to be focusing on so that I am staying optimal to the person I want to be. That said, again, I think I mentioned, if you're new here, uh, my name is Nick Arapkalis. If you're not subscribed here, make sure and do that right now and make sure and share this content with at least one other person right now because we're on a constant mission for helping over 100,000 people become laptop lifestyle entrepreneurs and really uh, growing their business and doing it in the most effective, efficient way possible. So on this video, we're gonna be talking about exactly why I decided to invest $3,000 into myself. And I'll explain exactly why I did that and what it was and why you wanna be investing into yourself if you really want to grow to the next level. Now, I did make a previous video, this video right here, uh, talking about how I recently invested $4,000 in, and that was just a couple weeks ago. And that was something completely different, but also kinda of on the same lines, okay? So what I decided to invest in myself this time and why I'm consistently investing into myself is because I want to continually be leveling up. So the thing that I invested into this time was a coaching program for YouTube advertising. Now, as a lot of you know, here on this YouTube channel, we've been putting a strong emphasis on paid traffic, paid advertising, and specifically YouTube advertising. We've been having some crazy results, like 700% ROI, 900% ROI, for nearly $4,000 in revenue in a, in a matter of two days. We also did another campaign where we did nearly $27,000 in sales in a couple weeks. Um, so we just have some crazy good results with YouTube advertising. So why would I invest? Why would I go into a coach to help me go to the next level if we're doing quite fine? Well, I don't want to do fine. I don't want to just do good. Yes, those results are really good, um, but I want to take it to the next level. So I decided that I want to invest into myself. So there's basically three ways that you can invest in yourself if you want to learn a new skill and really elevate your skill. And I'm, again, I'm going to be talking a little bit more on why you want to be doing this and how you can do this in the most effective way. One way you can do it is you can just invest time into yourself. You can go onto YouTube and look at all the videos. I could have easily gone onto YouTube. And in fact, I did. I kind of went through this progression. So I went onto YouTube I, and I found all the great people that are teaching YouTube ads and I digested their content. The other thing that I did is I actually bought courses that taught me how to do this as well. So then the third level is essentially coaching. And that's kind of the highest level. And this particular coaching, I got it from a guy that's, their campaigns are reaching around 10X ROI, a ROAS, uh, return on ad spend, um, at scale. They're spending like thousands and thousands of dollars and getting $10 out for every dollar they put back in. So that's insane. Like I said before, we did like 700% ROI, having trouble scaling a little bit. So that's kind of why we decided to invest into this because we want to scale and we want to keep those returns on investment. So why, let me explain this a little bit further because I want to share a particular story that one of my mentors shared with me a couple years ago. And he said, Nick, you need to, in order to have a very successful business, you need to get one extremely good at your business, like whatever your craft is, and then you have to get very good at the marketing of that product. So let's say you are in the fitness niche, okay? You have to get very, 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 very good at helping people in their fitness. And then on the other side, you have to get very, 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 very good at marketing your business. If you do those two things, you're going to have massive success. What business comes down to, that's if you do those two things, get very good at your craft and get very good at your marketing, you are going to explode and your business is gonna flourish. So that always just stuck with me when he told me that. And I'm glad that it did because that's, I, I would attribute that to a big part of my success. So that is the reason that I am constantly investing into myself. That's why I'm constantly investing into mentors, into programs, into coachings. And I always wanna continually get better because the truth of the matter is that you're either spiraling up or you're spiraling down. You could go be going quick, you could be going slow, but you're always going up or you're always going down. 
So I want to always be going up and I want to be very conscious of the fact that if I'm not going up, it means I'm going down. Unless I'm investing in myself and unless I'm constantly learning and constantly pushing, constantly leaning into my edges every single day, I'm going to be start slipping down. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to do is always be investing into yourself, always going up, always spiraling up, even if it's just slowly. I would much rather go faster, but you know, you got to be doing something at least. So the way that I really want you to perceive this, and I think we're going to wrap up the video after this. So basically the faster that you want to go, the faster that the faster that you want to spiral up, that depends on the level of education that you're getting, the, the, the level of learning and the level of action that you're taking. So if you're just watching YouTube videos and then you're not taking much action, you're going to be going very slow. If you're watching YouTube videos and you're taking a lot of action, it's going to be going a little bit quicker. If you're investing into courses and taking a lot of action, it's going to go a little bit quicker. And if you're investing into coaching people that are helping you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and you're taking tons of action, like it's going to be whew, and so again, that is the main reason on why I decided to this coaching. So on top of the coaching, I'm constantly investing into my ads, into my business and growing and taking action. Because if I just got coaching and then he's just like, all right, do this. And you're just kind of sitting around not doing much. It's not going to help that much. Right. But if I got the coaching and I'm getting on the calls every single week and then taking massive action, it's just like shoo, spiraling up. And that's what I want you guys to do, okay? Spiral up. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you got some value out of this, make sure and let me know down in the comments down below, what did you get value out? What was the most light-changing thing that you got in this video? And um, yeah, make sure and subscribe to the channel, share this with some friends, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.